I recently had an individual leave a comment saying that he had connected a MIDI keyboard with uh, Studio One 3 and he does have indication that Studio One is receiving MIDI information down below here but he doesn't have any audio. Um, this person is using a Mac and so this is pretty much all the information that I have here so I figured I would just make a quick video on troubleshooting audio issues within Studio One 3. So the very first thing that you want to do is be sure that your audio interface is uh, being used within Studio One 3. Now, I'm on the PC, so we'll go to, if you're on the PC, you want to go to Studio One. If you're using a Mac, you want to go to Preferences. Just choose Studio One or Preferences, whichever platform you're on. Then we want to choose Options, Audio Setup. And then here, I have a Focusrite Scarlet Solo, so I'm all set up here. Um, this individual is using a Mac, so you just want to be sure that you've got your core audio selected if you do not have an audio interface. If you do have an audio interface, just be sure that you choose it from the drop-down menu here. You also can choose the control panel to access other settings um, on your audio interface. I'll just cancel out. And so that's the very first thing that you want to take a look at. Um, we'll go ahead and close out of there. And next we'll go ahead and bring in an instrument. So I'm using my QWERTY keyboard to trigger this device, so I'm going to just bring that up pretty quickly here. And so I've got audio here. Um, if you still do not have audio, you want to be sure that over here in the track list, Studio One is going to default to all inputs, so you should, I mean, this is really going to take any information that's coming in and apply it to this MIDI device. If we click on that, you can choose specifically. So if I were to choose the QWERTY keyboard and then bring the device up again, bring that back up. So there's going to be no difference. Uh, all MIDI inputs is going to take everything that's coming in. Uh, I chose QWERTY keyboard, which is what I'm using currently. So there is no difference. We still have audio. But just know that over in this area, you can choose specifically whichever device you have set up. You can also come down to configure and choose the device that you're using. Uh, you can try to reconnect it. This is not active for me since I'm using the QWERTY keyboard. You can also choose to edit, and you may want to just take a look at the manual for your MIDI device and be sure that you have all the settings set up correctly for um, Studio One. I'll cancel out. If you're still not uh, producing any audio from your instruments using your MIDI keyboard, one other thing that you want to do is uh, come over to your loops and just let's drag one in and just create that audio track with that loop in and go ahead and play back and so if you've got audio from a loop or an audio file that you've imported in and you know that for some reason the MIDI information isn't getting to your VST instrument and you just really want to try playing around with some of the different settings and again uh, read through your manual for your MIDI particular MIDI device because they are set up in different ways and you know I can't cover each way but um, hopefully this has been helpful and um, if you're still having any audio issues leave a comment with more detailed information and I'll try to see if I can't help you out thanks for watching